trail mix? Trail mix, but behold. Candy corn. You like candy corn? <laughs> Do I ever? Wait, hold on, dude. Do you like candy corn? This changes everything. You get candy corn, M&M, and Newt. All right, hold on. Let me get everything. Let me get some Eye of Newt. We call this the Eye of Newt. The corn's a little hard. Mm-mm, mm-mm. I just have this. Wow. Bad corn, but it's still a delicious treat. Congrats to the chef. Send my regards to the chef. <laughs> that is delicious. Tell the chef I said congratulations. But yeah, you heard it here first. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> Mark it down, folks. <laughs> <laughs> so, dudes, that's really good. Yeah, of course you may try some. Sure. Especially with your orange shirt. You look like the king of the pumpkins with your orange hair. Look at that orange and black, dude. You're fully engaged. What? Halloween season. Oh, yeah. What are you going to go as this year? Uh, my girlfriend always wanted me to dress up in orange. Wait, you guys are gonna get on the ma- mic, dude. You're, pot, you're on a fucking You're going to go cast. matching outfits? Oh, my God. I don't want to talk about it. Actually. Oh, hold on. I'd like to hear this. Yeah. I want to hear something you feel uncomfortable about. I'd love to hear about that it. That would take the... That would take the pressure off of us being racist because we don't have anything else to talk about. We're actually being, we're actually being being correct. We're being woke. Pretty, yeah, pretty hopeful. I hate that when people say, oh, it's just, it's human nature. It's like, dude, we used to go in and like cut everyone's heads off and like rape everyone and stomp children's heads. It's like we've come a little better now, my brother. That still happens. It happens. Yeah, but it's. We did that like in Vietnam. Yeah, true. But it's less and less. It's Those guys were listening to CCR and doing that. Yeah, you're right. I forgot. I mean, about it's that. very flame throwing whole villages. Yeah, that I'm was sure. Iraq ran into a couple couple of those types of bros. Also, yeah, true, true. All, but it, it's definitely not as that was like the whole squad. It was like the whole town would come back. Like, what'd you guys do? We'd be like, we raped and murdered and everybody. Nice. Oh, we got him. <laughs> At least there's a small contingent. Oh, we won. Yeah, huge contingent. We like, won the best. You one. guys shouldn't have done that over there. <laughs> you should go over there, see what's up, snipe a couple people in the head. High five the kids, kiss the wives, and leave. That's kind of a argument people try to defend Columbus with. What was the time period he was in? Was fucking nuts. He was coming from Inquisition Spain. Yeah, he was coming from literally people being burned at the stake and tortured mm-hmm. like daily. Yeah. So then he sails over there and he's like, "All right, well, this is what we do. Go get us gold, or we're gonna cut your fucking hands off." Yeah. Like, not saying it was good. Yeah, but it's it's a whole different it's a, it's a universe you can't even imagine, dude. They back in a, I'm like the book I was reading about India was talking about. They used to have so you would like listen to your mother or father, and if you didn't listen to them, they would take you to an elder. And if you didn't listen to the elder, they would all stone you to death. <laughs> so if you were a kid and you were like teens gone wild, they would kill you. It'd be like whatever I do, what I want. If you if you did catch if you catch me outside, catch me outside, they're gonna catch you, you got, outside. Your parents would probably ruthlessly beat the, the shit out of you. You smell, you get hit with, yeah, you and get then they bring you to one more rocks. guy, and then he'd be like, dude, for real, knock it off. And if you were like, no, they would literally stone you to death. You were dead. And at the at the entrance of town, if anyone owed anyone money or did anything, they would put a gigantic, like basically like a poster type of thing of like, this guy's a humongous piece of shit. By the way, this guy just did this. And this then, is a stick figure drawing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, well, that could be anybody. And then once you made amends, they would fold the uh, they would fold it up and put it away and kept it. T- and like I guess get rid of it. Are you excited for the World Cup? Uh, not really. I'm being <laughs> honest. I'm not excited for the World Cup. Oh, but yeah. I'm happy. Where's it? Where's it? Uh, where's it going? You're gonna love where the World Cup is being held in Qatar. Qatar? Mm-hmm. Weren't they trying to do that for a while? Yeah. Well, they might, didn't like a bunch of guys die building the stadium. So yeah, they're using slave labor. Yeah, man. I don't know. Kind of puts a hole in my argument. <laughs> puts a hole in my. Yeah, a bunch argument. of die, guys were falling into concrete off scaffolding from. Yeah. They just yeah. I mean, Qatar is right there on the Gulf, right there. Yeah. They just head down to the Hot horn. Head down to the Horn of Africa. Round them up. Were they really? I, I thought so. they were getting a lot of guys from like Nepal too, where they'd be like come up on work visas and then they would kind of be like, you can't get back. Mm. And they kind of like this, they would like what they do with like sex trafficking. Yeah. I mean, they're doing that. Yeah. Yeah. And they're stealing, like, stealing some visas, stealing passports, being yeah. like, we'll give you this back in four years when you finish building this stadium. Yeah. 
And then, dude, it's like 120. I watched the whole thing on this. It was like 120 degrees. I might have watched yeah. it with you. That's why they have to have it in November. It's always in the summer. Really? It's going to be in November this year because it's 150 fucking degrees, dude. <sighs> well, it's also funny because I watched a thing years ago saying, like, wasn't there a bunch of, like, bribes and payoffs to make it happen yes. in Qatar? FIFA, FIFA's out of control. And then it's going on there anyway? Yeah. But more importantly, guard dog. Yeah, true. You thought you got <laughs> out of this. You thought I forgot. I was almost certain you guys <laughs> forgot. Oh, no. I've been hanging on to that. I was hoping you so guys So let me know. Forgotten. Yeah, what's the Halloween plan? What's the plan, bro? Ooh, you know, by God. the way, there's nothing. Guard dog, I'm a married man. There's nothing wrong with you. You should go as costume. Jesus and punch us. True. Or I could go as Allah. You could go as Allah. That's where we cross. The, that's that's <laughs> crap, dude. You know they don't like that, so they why don't, would you say no that? No depiction, bro. Is that why you said it? Because you know that's something They're they don't provocative. like. being provocative. Don't be We're trying to make the world a better place. We're talking about, hey, Jews, relax. Kanye West is your brother. So what are you going to go as? I'm going to, she wants me to be Batman. Batman and Robin? No, she wants to be Cat Catwoman. Whoa. Yo, bro. Yo, bro. I can't, that's the gayest Yo, thing I've ever heard in Gardini. my entire life. And no. then, Gardini, and then what? Yeah, then you get to Maybe. fuck her and she'll be dressed like Catwoman. That'll be sick. And I know, but I could also like, have sex yes, with her yeah. just dressing like Sean Gardini. I could just wear bro, a shirt. I know Don't you be think Halloween, you're a baby. superhero. I know you think you're <laughs> yeah. a superstar. Dude. You should all that night when you come be like, I'm gonna come now. I'm coming. Where do you want it? <laughs> Show me your tits. So what are you gonna do? I'm gonna politely decline, probably. What? Yeah. You're gonna decline? You could get a funny Batman costume. Okay. You don't have to get a cool one. You can get the throwback, like the blue underwear. I, and yeah, the gray. I was thinking like, that, yeah. 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 Kinda cool. But I, I haven't I, bro, I never dressed all up. black, bro. Go all black. Yeah, get a cool ass fucking like Batman. To get some suit. Muscles. That'd be cool to pull dude, up with the fake yeah. muscles. Or, what are you talking about? Yo, get a cool suit, dude. No, two no. costumes, one Batman, one Bane. Go in the bathroom uh, at the party, char- change into Bane, and just go beat the shit out of her. <laughs> yeah. Body slammer in front of everyone. Great care spine. Yeah, I'm, my girlfriend and I are going as Road Dog Jesse James and Badass Billy Gunn. We're going as the New Age yeah. Outlaws. Yeah, me and my wife are going to be Roe vs. Wade. <laughs> 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 Yeah, Brittany wants to do matching costumes, and uh, I actually wanted to be a Swedish carpenter. I was going to wear an Ikea shirt. and a have Swedish just an, carpenter? I was going to have an Allen key on a tool belt. That's funny. Yeah, Come on, that's man. That's idea. clever. But she's not against She's against it. She wants to be matching, but now here in- I'm going to go as Gabe Davis. Oh, that would be sick, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Gardini, I might match now. Now that you're saying this, I'm like, you know what? Because I was fighting her on that front. I was like, dude, I'm not doing matching costumes. Now you're saying this, I said, I'm gonna match. I'm gonna give the babe what she wants. You know, what'd be a funny. We're gonna trick. be Batman and Cat. You know, what'd be a funny <laughs> trick is for all of us to lie to our babes, have a Halloween party, convince them all to go as minions, and we all go as minions. Oh, Everyone at the whole party. Fuck. <laughs> fuck. We all go as Batmans. That would be. Sick. That would be nasty. And have a sick Batman Halloween party. Batman that would party. be tight. To have and a then one play costume. Vortex, dude. Vortex but then who nice. knows, dude? Because then. I know, I know my girlfriend. She's gonna want to sneak off and, uh, you know, go on. Get her snatch fucking ripped apart. <laughs> she's gonna want to get pounded at the party, but she she can end up making love to it, the wrong Batman. <laughs> <laughs> what a catastrophe! Dude. I'd have to break in with my fucking Batman boomerang dagger. <laughs> What if somebody fucking pounded her? <laughs> somebody pounded my girl. Yeah. Dude, that, he got fucking yeah. charged. And he was right to be upset. Yeah. You just being like running and then looking yeah, at him. Yeah, just be like off tackle. Off tackle. We're going off tackle, right? Good luck, pitch. <laughs> Three yards. That's another minute oh. off the clock. And then he's like, he goes fourth and one. You got to punt it. Yeah. And you go, or just run it. I'll just run a quarterback seat. Yeah, I can, I can just get through. First did, down. Did you look up what the NCAA was? You got the list of them? So I think I think O one is gonna be Winky. O one is Winky. All right. No, I think, I think one's they won the, I think they won the two thousand. I think you're right. 2000's Winky. Okay. O one is Winky. Harrington. O two is. Uh, I think that's Sean Alexander. I think it's two thousand. Chris Leak. No, Florida. no, no. You're. I think it's Sean Alexander from Alabama, running back. It might be. So I think it's two thousand Winky. 2000 is Sean Alex- Alexander. Sean Alexander. 01. Two, 2001 is Winky. Winky. 02 is Joey Harrington from yes. Oregon. 03 
Ooh. Oh, three is it's Delaware, I think. Oregon no. player. Oregon. Oregon. Oh, three. Is it Harrington again? Yes. It's Carson Palmer, the quarterback. Carson. Oh, oh, no. It's, it's USC. 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 Carson Palmer. Palmer. Oh, sorry. Carson Palmer's alert. Yeah. Oh, four. Might this have. Is, this is a tough period. Oh, four. Reggie tough. Bush? Mm, uh, Reggie was oh, f- six or oh, seven. I know in Madden. Oh, four was the Mike Vick year. Oh, oh, Larry Fitzgerald. Larry Fitzgerald. Yes. Oh, yeah, that was a good year. Yeah. Oh, four is Fitzgerald. Oh, five has got to be Reggie Bush. Oh, five. Reggie Who is it? Desmond Howard. The, the Heisman classic year. Oh, six is Reggie Bush because that was the first Xbox 360 one. Yeah. In yes. oh, five. Yeah, that's when I moved here to New York, and I remember the oh, five Desmond Howard. You could do career mode, and yeah. the better you played, you had girlfriends. Do you yeah. remember that? What? Dude, like, they started ball- no. The EA used to have cool shit. You as the head coach in Dynasty mode, you could be like a dude got in trouble for academic stuff, and you'd be yeah. like, Nah, he's playing. <laughs> yeah. Sanctions. Yeah, and then if you did the solo career mode, you got a better dorm. Yeah, it had an ugly girl at yeah. first. Yeah your, yeah, your freshman girlfriend was like ugly, and then by the time you were a senior, you were like, yeah, dime pieces. Yeah, that was awesome. Yeah, bring that back, dude. True. Yeah. I thought it was, if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's in the game. <laughs> in the game. Where's the nerd that's helping me with my test? He ain't yeah. sports. Yeah. yeah, I thought it was in the game. In the game. <laughs> oh, damn, dude. Um, so Remember EA Reggie. Sports Big? EA Sports. Oh yeah, where they try to do <laughs> they try to do NBA Jam for <laughs> yeah. everything. Yeah. They they did, still, uh, they're the doing streets. that now. They yeah. destroyed video games, dude. Yeah, video games everything are destroyed, is a fucking dude. online. Yeah, they're like, oh, you want to bowl with bumpers? Here everything you, you have to fucking dismiss a like offer for new cards <sighs> or whatever. Dude, time. Madden is so hard just Can't to get play to, Madden. to franchise. Yeah. Just to get to franchise. Try to run a franchise. I'm telling you. I like scouting draft picks. You do? I like having a good time. Dude. <laughs> I like planning this organization. I do that in 2K. I build, I rebuild, I go to my jam mode and I rebuild like the Sam, Sacramento Kings all the time. Yeah, you got to rebuild. Yeah. I like to set the concession prices. I, like I can't. Guys. Damn, these are high prices for peanuts. <laughs> yeah. You go, come on, man. The working man needs to have a beer. This is Philly. Come on, give him a couple of brewskis. The bro- he's got a, working man's got to have a beer when he's watching us. I, uh, I just always, now I just run dynasties with McDaniel. Because it's weird to see your friend animated on Madden. Yeah. And then, like, I'll tell him what I do. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> in real life. That's awesome. I saw him at the Jets game. I go, dude, I'm in the AFC championship game with the Dolphins. And he goes, so why haven't you won it? That was no. immediately his response. Uh, you like, say less. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that. I go, you know what? Don't worry. I go, you got this situation handled with Skylar Thompson. I'm going to get us a trophy. I'm going to head back. And I'm going to send you a picture of this trophy. And, yeah, dude. and then when we went to the Browns game, me and my boy, they were like, because when you're like, the access you get with a head coach, you don't get a ticket. You don't have a lanyard. There's just a guy that walks you around. That's like, no, he's with me, like the head of security. Yeah. And he was like, do you guys want to go? <laughs> do you guys want to go? Watch the players get introduced, like to me and my friend Chad, and we're like, "What do you mean?" And we were down next to the tunnel where they run out. Oh, it shit. was fucking sick. It was against the Browns, like week fucking fifteen oh. or whatever. And every time a guy would run by, I go, "He's killing it, my in my franchise." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and my friend Chad would be like, "I don't fucking care." Eighty six overall. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I traded him for draft picks, and he's like, "All right, I don't give a shit." <laughs> yeah, dude. It's How about up. you? You get pumped on the vidges. Do you yeah. get excited about like when you watch wrestling? And you're like, those are my guys. Do you play like, do you play 2K WWE? You get yeah, mad? GM mode stinks though now. Yeah, but do you play like I just play like random matches? GM mode does stink. The last one sucked. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. gotta like match them up every time. You yeah, have a there's big money guy, to you have spend. a small guy. You have a, yeah. yeah. Well, the new one's coming out this week. Oh, maybe like next. Yeah, March March 14th. March 14th. Yeah, sorry. I pre-ordered. I pre-ordered the expensive one with Cena. <laughs> oh, you, that's when it's you, really unreal how much of this was just a conversation and not like a funny podcast. Yeah. <laughs> it just sounds like. And then I met this guy, and then I met this guy, and then like sports. You guys like sports? Yeah, but what? Do you, what no, it's perfect. You think they want to be like? All right, next topic. I'm just. Yeah. Uh, I'm just. Listen, yeah. Matt's Today gone. Today we're going to talk about when East the, Palestine, when, Ohio. Matt's gone. When the shaman's away, the bull will play. Yeah, it's time to talk sports. It's time to talk sports. <laughs> I never get to talk. Dude, you sports. went to the fucking Super yeah. Bowl, right? And Drake you became, party, dude. You became friends with the most dynamic running back in the NFL. I gotta NFL. take it easy. I don't want to overdo it. Yeah, it's like right. having a hot girlfriend or like a hot girl you're talking to. Yeah. Like I tagged him in a picture yesterday, and I was like, Do you think Olivia? Do you ooh. think his girlfriend's gonna be like that? Shane guy is talking about Chris you know? Godwin. From the rafters. I, who would have thought? Wait, what? Anytime a, like I get when O linemen are fans. Yeah. Or like a white dude. Like, I'm like, yeah, I'm Taylor Heineke. <laughs> I know you're a bro. Dude. Of course. <laughs> yeah. You're one of us. Yeah. Uh, but when like Chris Godwin from the Bucks hit me up and was like, big fan, can I come to the show? I was like, 
Absolutely, you can. Yeah. You're dangerous. You're awesome. You're dangerous <laughs> one on one. You're the blackest guy I've ever seen. <laughs> Be my How friend. How do you like me? <laughs> Be my friend. I'm into white running backs, but I could find Ooh. a place for this. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, spazzing on video games. Wrestling video games are hard to spaz on. Yeah. Unless I, the computer beats you and you're like, that wouldn't happen. I you start talking about it. And I play on Legendary. I don't lose. Me too. <laughs> oh, okay. I think Lamar and I need to have a little. I think we could settle this. You yeah, need a slam jamboree? Yeah. Although these guys try to beat me in UFC every week. And <laughs> God damn, I put a hurting on these hurt them. Yeah, I smash. I smash. I say, now we talk. But do you think, do you think they're afraid to beat you? No. You I'm not one part of, of them. That's like, I actually don't video game spaz. You don't. I don't video. Our game first spaz. hang, I, like, you actually got me to spaz, and I had the series. I don't video game spaz. I beat you three well, games. I, I, you were. I mean, those are neck and neck, and then one game there was a quit. Well, first off, <laughs> first off, <laughs> it was an onside kick in half. <laughs> there was some bullshit going on. Shane won in a bullshit way, and I was like, "We're not going to continue." Yeah, I think this. it was thirty-one to ten. I, I and anyway. it, I was like, "We're going to run it right back." And you go, "You quit." And then he just had me that whole weekend being like, "I got you to quit." And I was like, "No, made it was his a ass bullshit. quit." No. <laughs> it was a bullshit reason, and we all know that. Was there anything that would get you more? Like, I know wrestlers would geek us out. Yeah, and NFL players geek us all out. Yeah. What would like Wayne Rooney is a good example of something that where you would be like, oh shit, that no one I else wish, would care about. Because in an you airport, saw Mad Dog Maddox, you go yeah. nuts. <laughs> yeah. In an airport, you don't want to to draw attention. Yeah, yeah. If it was anywhere else, I'd be like, can I get a picture? Yeah. But in an airport, you're just like, sup? Uh, is there anything like? Is there anybody that's like a Wayne scholastic? Rooney would have been huge. No, but like scholastic that would get you to pop. Is there like a writer or something? Oh, would be writer. like Cornell West. That's like, a yeah, lot. Shit. I saw Cornell West. <laughs> really? He was on my fucking flight. <laughs> dude, I, dude, I swear to God. That's an easy a... mistake, though. Cornell West looks like every old black no, dude. No, dude. Here's what's crazy. I was on a flight. You're going to yeah. love it. I was on a flight with Cornell West. that's a racial slur, too. If you saw a black dude, you're like, Cornel Cornel West. West. <laughs> goes, what the fuck you say, motherfucker? My name is Doug. Yeah. Cornell West was on a flight. I had a transfer from Minneapolis yeah. to uh, New York. Cornell West. And Greg the Hammer Valentine. Oh yeah, let's go. Were they hanging Same out? Flight. <laughs> Different. Like, not Greg hanging the at Hammer all. Valentine. Dude, that guy was so <laughs> mad. A fucking NHL in Fort. Who's that? He's old school oh, WWF, yeah. dude. Yeah. And I saw him, and I was like, I walked up, I was like, I'm a bit. Not Cornell West. Greg the Hammer Valentine. <laughs> yeah, I was a big fan. He was like, this. he's all old. He's like, all right, right. Oh. Yeah, and I was like, oh, you're right. You look like an old lesbian. Yeah. Can I just be your old lesbian? <laughs> yeah, ass. Shut up, dude. You're hurt now. Look at me, look at me move around. You get knocked out. Yeah. Puts me in a fucking in a hole. Yeah, I'm like, ah, Greg the Hammer Valentine, stop. <laughs> Gonna say his full name. Yeah. Greg the Hammer Valentine, please stop. Let me go. <laughs> you saw Cornell West. I don't think anybody scholastically would. I think there is a guy, though, because you're into history and shit there. It's probably one person you're not thinking uh, about. That if you saw or if you like realized Ken it was Burns. him. Ken Burns would be tight, but I wouldn't even recognize him. Yeah. But I'm saying if Dan you Carlin found him, would be tight. Dan Carlin? Carlin, Carlin yeah. would be like, like, excuse me, Shane. This, he goes, this yeah. steak is not cooked. Yeah. I ordered a medium. He's like two heavyweight fighters. <laughs> yeah. Now the Japanese are more than the Japanese. <laughs> and you go, are you Dan Carlin being racist? <laughs> He's like, uh, Dan Carlin would make you. Some politicians. Yeah. You, you saw Obama. Mm. Obama. Oh, I, saw, I saw Trump. That yeah. was, I was that up. one, yeah, I, at Mar a Lago. You yeah. saw him just like walk through the room? I saw him like talking to a table from like us to that chair. Yeah. And, and I was like, just like, oh, 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 shit. did you want to do your impression, Adam? <laughs> no, he started, he was doing the hands. I was like, oh. he's doing the hands. <laughs> he was talking, to, he was entertaining a group of rich people at a yeah. table, and he was like, that's great. And Dude, we like, had a case oh, study. He's, he's doing it. He's doing it. <laughs> I mean, here's the thing you can talk shit about any politician. Hillary's in the room with you. You're like, yeah, it's still, even if you don't like them, you're still like, oh shit, oh shit. Like, uh, like if just randomly, like George R W. Bush Rogan's is up there. Rogan, Rogan, when the first time, not that he's on yeah. this level, but he was one. Chappelle, obviously, those ones. But that's in comedy. comedy. Yeah, it's like you're. I'm trying to think of comedy. You're just like because I remember the first time Chris, like Chris Rock, just walked by when I was at Chris Stand Rock's Up New York. A crazy one to see when I was in like I was doing open mics and he yeah. came in on a Monday show that I was on just to do a set. And I was like, like seeing him. Uh, the craziest one was the 49ers sucked. This was like 2008, maybe, in the or 09. 49ers just were not good. And they beat the Rams, Sam Bradford and the Rams. And I was mm -hmm. excited about it. And I was like a little drunk. And I was like, I'm going to go by the cellar because I just got in there. And I was like, I'm going to go hang. It was Sunday night. 
And I walked and sat down at a table and Robin Williams was just chilling mm. there. And Robin Williams was like sitting there talking to Jim Norton. And I was like, oh, shit. And I didn't talk to anybody. And Lenny Marcus went like, so did the 49ers one, right? And, you know, Robin Williams from the Bay Area. So he goes, he just looks up. He goes, 49ers one? Look right at me. And I went, they did. 31-21 over the Rams. Yeah. And I got the 31-21. Yeah. It was a great game. <laughs> exactly. It was, yeah. that was, was, exactly uh, it was like 75 degrees. Yeah. Yeah. Alex Smith was <laughs> Alex Smith was 17-31 to with a 231. Yeah. Uh, but just, it was like, Robin Williams got me this. That was the one where I was like, oh, shit. The Niners won. Yeah. Robin Williams was big. That was big. I, you, I told you about, you were with me when I saw Rock. I was. You brought me to the cell. Dwayne. Oh, Chris. Oh, the, I mean, did I say the cool. Rock? You said no. You said Rock. You said Rock. 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 Oh. Yeah. Uh, you brought me to the cellar. I, I was. That was always so funny. You would bring me to the cellar, and I'd like sit at the bar. Yeah. Because you would sit at the table, but and then I, would, I, like, I would do my I chair. Like, was like in between the. I'd literally like look back and at I'd the be table. Like, <laughs> I'd try to bring Shane into conversations. <laughs> the bar. And Voss knew you, so if yeah. Voss was there, it was easy. But like other people, I'd be like. Well, my friend Shane, who just moved here, yeah. uh, like direct the conversation. Yeah. They would be like, <laughs> "Okay, <laughs> who's this white guy that Soder's yeah. bringing?" That's a big bro move, dude. Yeah. It was a big bro. Yeah. So then he, so Soder and me and Michelle Wolf were sitting at the table. Soder goes to do a spot. He runs downstairs. I was like, "Fuck, should I sit here? Should yeah, I leave?" Yeah, yeah. And then as soon as he walks out, Chris Rock comes and sits down, and him and Michelle Wolf are just <laughs> talking, and I'm yeah. just sitting there like. And then they said something about, I don't know. I said Sandy Hook was a hoax. Chris <laughs> <laughs> Rock started laughing. And I was like, yes, got yes, him. yes. Got him. Yeah. Yeah, that was like, I remember Seinfeld walked by when I first moved to the city. And I was like, I was like, I'm going to, I'm going to talk to Seinfeld. I was outside smoking a cigarette and he's walking in stand up in New York. And I was like, crap's pretty good in there, Jerry. And he's like, <laughs> and just walked by me. And I was like, <laughs> uh, Rich, the guy who just pissed on the stage. They got mad, but that's what he did. He just pissed himself. I mean, if it's that's golden real, buzzer. It's real. Awesome. He's a comedian. You're going to Vegas. He was yeah. a comedian, and that's he had planned to do that. They didn't know. He said he was going to do something else, and he just said, "I'm Six nervous." Shit himself. Seriously. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're like genius. <laughs> you, you know, know what? If, you're, if you look on TikTok, the people from um, the the people from. Um, VCR party or something. I don't. I don't know. Uh, oh yeah, those guys. Is that the guys that do the home videos? They do. No, they they did. They, you know what they also did? They booked themselves on, on morning news. shows. Yes. Oh. Yes, with fake yes. things, like fake experts? strength. Yeah, yeah. they're yeah. so good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those guys. Are, no, not Chad and JT. Well, Chad and JT do the things where they go to HOA meetings and public meetings. These are guys that were really on real like good morning wisconsin yeah and he was a uh, do feats of strength and yes yeah. yes yeah. And so was there one where the guy was like i have to take this phone call have you ever seen that one he's seen no. before he got on and did one of these bullshit acts he told them he was like something's wrong with my my father he's in the hospital yeah and i'm i need to leave my phone on just in case something happens and in the middle of the segment he picks up the phone and he's like Oh God! Oh no! Like, oh no! <laughs> dad, I love it. Like he just says his final words to his dad. Oh, leaves, and, and they're live, all like, on live TV. Well, that happens. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> there was another show that I, I just love that fake stuff. But there was another guy. Do you have their names? No. You can't find them. No, he pissed himself on AGP. <laughs> 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 that's so I mean, funny. that's as funny as it gets. What did you guys say to him? I laughed, but they were really that the production was not happy. Yeah, and I was like you call that piss. Yeah. I'll show you piss. You having a pass. Yeah. People thought it was a joke, like maybe he had something in his head. You know, when I first started stand up, I thought it was funny. This is in the seventies. I started I had a like a squirt gun in my pants. <laughs> and I would just stand on stage Fuck. and I thought it was funny. But, so and I would, funny. I would I would I would just hit the, the thing and my pants would get wet. And it was funny in the little clubs. <laughs> oh my just to God. watch. Oh, and I would never laughing. even yeah. say anything about it. I would never even say, but it was funny to me and I'd be going do you ever notice, like when you go shopping, the the fourth wheel <laughs> and the so cart doesn't work, and then I'd hear like mumbling below because there's everybody. Look at his pants. <laughs> He's pissing himself. He's pissing himself. He's not even saying. So you anything. saw the America's Got oh, Talent what? guy, and you were like, "This is a genius. This, is a genius. this guy's yeah. actually doing but it." But I I did these things. My wife would always say, "Like, who's the fucking joke on? You're not even saying gotcha." It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, no, it's people so just funny. think Howie Mandel pissed himself. I did that. I did this so, so good. But I wasn't known, and I wasn't on TV, and I just like. My whole act yeah. was a fucking joke when I started. You know that. It was a dare. 
Oh, really? My act was a dare. Yeah, was the glove thing a dare? I did. Well, I'll tell you what the glove thing was, and I just talked about this recently. So somebody dared me to get on stage in the mid seventies. There was a before this boom that feels like it's happening again. I went to a comedy club. I had never been to a comedy club, and they said they're they're having open mics. So somebody said to me, "You should go up," and I said, "Oh, okay, I'll go. I'll, I'll do that," thinking that the joke would just be. Somebody went, ladies and gentlemen, Howie Mandel. There's no reason for Howie Mandel to be on stage yeah. or be introduced anywhere. They go, ladies and gentlemen, Howie Mandel. I walk out and there's, there's a smattering of applause. And then people sitting there, I've never been on a stage. And, the, and, and you realize, I see the, the mic and now these people, they stop laughing. And I realize, what, what, what the fuck? What, and I started getting terrified and I start going, oh, oh, uh, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> All right, okay. And I was trying to think of something and they started giggling at my nervousness and my fear. And I would go, what, what, what? And that became like my yeah. act. And then yeah. I had nothing to do. And I put my hands in, in my pocket and I had uh, rubber gloves because I have OCD mm-hmm. and I was out in public and I didn't want to touch anything. And I knew I probably had to go to the restroom. So I always carried gloves. Mm-hmm. So I had the glove and I took it out. I went, okay, 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 okay. And I just pulled it over my head and I started breathing and the fingers are <laughs> going up. The audience is laughing. And then I blew, I blew it up and it, popped off my head and the audience applauded yeah. sorry good night i knew enough to, that, that yeah, was yeah. leaving one. yeah that's a drop the mic moment and i went good night and you uh, riffed the glove bit yeah and 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 then <laughs> and then uh the uh, owner of the club mark breslin he owns yuck yucks. Yeah. have you ever met mark breslin he owned yuck yucks he goes you got to come back tomorrow and i go and do what he goes do what you did I go, what the it. fuck did i do yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, close with the glove i went oh okay wow and so my act became out of nothing my whole career is nothing. Well, in a moment uh, of this fear. This podcast. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> yeah. Howie Mandel's yeah, a nihilist. Uh, you had done the glove before, though, just now on stage. I, like maybe, I, had, like, I had just done our, like breathing and something. moved the fingers yeah, yeah, yeah. just because gotcha. I carry a blog. But not, I wasn't a comedian. No, I wasn't, of course. You were never thinking. I was in sales. I was in, yeah. uh, you know, I got thrown out of school at 17. I was not. What would you get kicked out for? The, uh, a bunch of stuff. Uh, it, the old fun. cigarette trick. <laughs> <laughs> the no, sisters didn't love it. I, uh, the last thing was they ended up doing it in Caddyshack, but I did it before the movie ever. I, I didn't want to go swimming. Shit in the pool. Turd in the pool? <laughs> I, did the the, the pool? I, di- I did the shit in the pool, but I, I did it. I didn't want to go swimming. I, I could show you. You can see when the Caddyshack come out, probably came out in 1980. If you look at Make Me Laugh in 1978, I'm on, and I talk about why I got thrown out of school. I threw the chocolate bar in the pool, and when the kids hung around, uh, they all showed up at the end of the day to look to see the turd <laughs> at the bottom of the pool. And I just, without thinking, I dived in and came up with it in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and then they called me to the... <laughs> Which I thought was funny, but when you're like 15 or 16 years old, I was the most disgusting. Everybody hated me and thought I had eaten well, that's, shit. that's crazy. Because <laughs> that's the funny... That's that's literally the funniest guy on earth. Yeah, but not especially not in, if it in was context. Shit. Yeah. And then I did other things too. I, I moved to another school, and then I I thought it was funny, and I didn't tell anybody because I didn't have any friends. But I hired a guy. I phoned the Yellow Pages at, to a contracting firm, and I had the guy I said, "We want to add twenty five feet onto the library on the west side of the school. Could you measure and give me a a an estimate?" And he said, "Okay." What's your name? And I said, I'm Howard Mandel. And, uh, and he was like, that's an adult's name. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That was always Howard. Yeah. Everybody was mad at me. But, but I, <laughs> I, I said, and you need to do it at 315. We'll open it up because the kids are in class. That's when I need you to measure. And, do it. and I did that because I was in math at that time. And I looked out onto the field. And it was funny to me to watch this guy with a tape measure and he's <laughs> writing down things and he's out in the field. And then I saw the vice principal walk out in the field and talk to him. And I know, like, just in my own mind, he's going, what, what are you doing? And he's going, I'm going to give an estimate on the uh, addition onto the library. <laughs> yeah. And he's going, Who's, who authorized this? And he goes, <laughs> which, which made me laugh, Howard Mandel. <laughs> you just see the guy leaves, and then they go, and over the, over the loudspeaker says, would Howard Mandel please come to the office? And I go to the office, and the, and the principal goes, did you, are you getting a... Uh, did you tell a guy to build a uh, <laughs> an addition onto the li- the library? And I go, no. He, I go. He goes. He gave me your name, and he go, I go, no. I'm getting 
three estimates. I'm a lot more. <laughs> and he goes, could you please? Like, he's nervous. He goes, could you please sit down? And I sat down and they called my parents and my parents came in and he's, ex- it was the best, I was biting my lip. He's explaining to my parents, you know, your son hired a company to put yeah. an addition onto the library. As if my parents, I've told this story so many times, but my parents were supposed to say, like, we told them never to do that. Yeah. You know? But they couldn't, they started laughing. They were laughing. They were That's awesome. Laugh, oh, they said, get God. out. But I was always doing things like that. I always like. It's a very precocious the prank. Theater yeah, yeah. of discomfort. is Discomfort is always um, my happy place. Yeah. <laughs> I guess somebody's calling. It's like, it was one thing when you ate the turd, Howie, but this whole addition is too much really to leave school no i'm, I'm no it was that, uh, i did a lot of things i would do a lot of things i came in to class we had a class on the second floor and um i would come in 10 minutes early i would go before and i'd unlock the window and then i'd go to the janitor's office and i'd get a, a ladder and 10 minutes the class is already in i'm not there i would just climb in through the window and go sit down at my desk like nothing happened <laughs> damn it's pretty awesome. I got in trouble for, I was not even close. I was like just a fart yeah. in class. That was as far as I got. You were doing real good pranks. Classical ones. Not, they're good now. I'm almost 70 years old and yeah. I tell you these stories and now they get laughs. At that time, I was a pariah. You I were was, ahead of your fart fucking Oppenheimering a fucking cataclysmic fart. <laughs> Use the dog, the dog's the vessel, but you got to start coming up with like... <gasps> What's the most mind bending I mean, part? It's eggs with vegan cheese. Eggs wrapped in vegan cheese. If you mix vegan cheese with real cheese. Give it to a mutt pit bull. <laughs> <laughs> Just drop a fucking nuke, dude. If you mix eggs, vegan cheese, beans, real cheese. Bring that cheese. fart doctor from the San Diego Zoo. He'll be like, we've done it. <laughs> I am. I have become fart destroyer of couches. <laughs> <laughs> Thanos. Yeah. Thanatos. Ew. Yeah, I Booper. Mean, you could Boopenheimer did. <laughs> <laughs> That's the smelliest. Right, Patreons, for... we're hitting rocks. <laughs> true, true. It's run ashore. How Where far are we? Are we? <laughs> oh, we baby. got it. Last five minutes, dig out, baby. We've got a how's got... how's work going, guys? Oh, I didn't even talk about how cool Cameron Simon is. Who's Cameron Simon? Shout out Cameron. That was the fighter that. Oh hell yeah, dude, dude, the bro. End of the fight, the South African young boy. I only know him by his traditional African name, not his fucking Starts name. Ro- he beat the hell out of this Alaskan black guy. The rare Alaskan black man. And he, he hit him with the little brother fucking the worst posture in UFC. Yeah, he grapevine. You get your legs yeah, locked just, and you just have to go like this. And the guy's sitting on your back <laughs> fucking oh. wailing on you. Yeah, as just, soon as he got up after the win, he stood up, looked around, saw me, ran over to the cage and was like, I'm a big fucking fan. And I was just sitting there like, <laughs> I was fat baby Aztec. Was, you like me for you, real? You fight well. You have you have honored me with your combat. <laughs> anyway, that, that was is, one of, no, that's that was probably one of the coolest world. things that's ever happened to me. Just to so go, thank you, Cameron. Thank the, you for that cool moment. For the funniest me. is the reaction going. Yeah, you, I, I mean, like, the Fuhrer. It's like there's no way this guy knows who I am. Trump's over there. The Fuhrer's over no, there. No, the Fuhrer and Trump were not there. Oh, yet. they were completely on the other My side. My Fuhrer was still getting dressed. Oh, was he really? No one was there yet. It was in the prelims. <laughs> <laughs> That's not. A, I don't think. I don't think Mel Gibson's Hitler. I'm, it's just a joke from. It's so funny. From Bruno. Yeah, my Führer. Yeah, it's hilarious. Bradolf Pitler. <laughs> Calling Mel Gibson the Führer. Wilhelm Schmidt. <laughs> Calling him the Führer. Is so mein funny. Führer. He'd laugh. You know why? He's, he has a good sense of humor. He does have a good sense of humor. I'm waiting for Passions too. The resurrection. That's be nasty. It's, the, it has to be the resurrection. It is the. Re- it's called. Yeah. Oh it's my the resurrection. god, dude. When's that? It's that's comeback. Got, Easter, obviously. That's got to come out in Easter. Oh baby, you, yeah. Bro. Obviously, Easter time. Have you watched that new uh, sex trafficking movie? No. Is that Mel Gibby's? I I think he helped promote it or maybe produce it, but it's uh, Cavalli. It's the guy. What's that guy's name? Caviezel. No, I didn't see it. The guy, the Jesus. Oh. He made a movie where he's like a cop that investigates child trafficking and so apparently it's not a it's, documentary no apparently no i know that's what i thought okay but it's a I video thought it was, i thought there was like a hollywood pedophile thing that was coming out are they looking up like mole children and shit this is just a guy that's apparently breaking up sex the, trafficking dude if mel gibson did write movies like based on like stealing children from haiti and shit that'd be pretty funny where it's be like, awesome then mark Wahlberg goes up and there's just like a woman in a pantsuit and they're like get her yeah 
Her name's like Billery Schlinton. <laughs> <laughs> Stop right there, Billery. My name's Puma Hadin. <laughs> I'm Mark Wahlberg, and I'm here to fuck you I'm guys Mark up. I'm Mark Wahlberg. I'm here to beat your ass. I'm here to beat your fucking <laughs> ass, dude. Yeah, it is decked out. I keep forgetting to get all municipal clothing. Dude. I know. Oh, fuck. How can I forget? Mark was there, dude. I was. I gazed was, upon him. Well, how was his drip? Drip was obviously municipal, dude. Fuck, dude. It was hard not to stare at the boy. <laughs> I was sitting next to Goggins. I was like. <laughs> I hope Goggins doesn't think that I'm a fat pussy. What did Goggins say when the dude went fucking a huge fan? Was you just fucking Goggins wasn't there yet? Damn it! All the all the cool celebs show up just for the main card. What? The real bros are there. Yeah, for the whole fight. Yeah, the prelims are the, is the coolest part because the the arena is empty, and you just two dudes. Yeah, are, you watch people fight. Two dudes are going wild. What are what are the bros? What do you think the celebs are doing before the main event? I don't know. You know getting I mean? dressed up real cool. True. Get Just cool in haircuts. Cool closet looking at 25 watches. Yeah. Going, I'll pick this one. I'm going to look the coolest down there. I'm, I'm going to pick this one. I got to get into high end watches, dude. I was, I, I was don't know which one to considering wear. Considering that, too. High end watches? You could. I could never. I could never do anything cool. No. It's embarrassing. I'm just saving all my money up for to give to my wife when I die. <laughs> I'm going to give it to charity and my wife. I might make her, I might, I am going to stipulate, and there is going to be, like, conditions, though. Like, challenges. Yeah. Da Vinci physical, code. physical challenges. Physical challenges, mental challenges. Puzzles. Puzzles. Just regular puzzles, a thousand-piece puzzle. She's actually nasty at puzzles. Shit. 10,000-piece yeah, puzzle. Dude, I'm telling you, she finds the edge pieces first and works her way into the middle. It's pretty fucking smart. It's impressive. Yeah, she's nasty as fucking puzzles. Decent at getting kites up. Dude. Shane, this kite was so fucking high, dude. You have no idea the fucking freedom I felt. I can't even imagine. Just being attached to it. And I, I wanted so badly just to cut it away and be like, be free, brother. You should have. Well, dude, if they if they yeah, drop, yeah. once they're that high, Spike somebody. they can drop like a fucking block away yeah. and just hit somebody. It a was Falcon, dude. I mean, the power and responsibility was awesome. I was just completely humbled before yeah. the responsibility of this kite. Responsibility of the kite. <laughs> what kind of kite was it? Just classic Butterfly. triangle? Butterfly? Butterfly. I was flying a fucking purple butterfly, dude. That's just awesome. Looming over the city. People probably grabbed their kids and went, oh, You're like, it's Mothra. Kite, my lady. <laughs> kite, kite, my lady. I'm telling you, dude. If you get, you're if my you butterfly. Get, if, you're near a beach, if you're near a beach for a show, <laughs> secure a kite, dude. And just oh, I go will. Out. Matt, now that you mention it, and I'm going to get dude, the finest kite. The evening time, everyone leaves. The winds get heavy. Dude, just let it as high as you can get it. And don't be a coward like me, dude. Just cut the line, Release dude. the kite. Release. It must be released. I'll never fly. I actually, I'll probably fly it again. Yeah. But I told Brittany, I was like, I'm going to release You're going it. back. When are you going back to the beach? Tomorrow. Back you're, to the beach. You're a beach bum. Total beach bum. You got to. That sucks. You got to carry all that shit. The wagon. I mean, again, it is cool. Once you're there. Dude, cabana. There's a little like those pop out tent. That's on the shoulder. Beach chair. How much, on the is back. How much is your lady? How much is she mewling? She's hoofing. She's mewling. She's yeah. got a beach chair on the back and she's pushing the fucking wagon with the kids. She's that, pushing, you're pulling. I'm pulling. I, I got the thing. I mean, I'm doing most. She'll, I'll feel her kick in every now and again. I go, oh. So she'll kick in on me. She'll hit the turbo. Yeah. She's my knock. She gets low and drives. She's hitting the sled. She'll <laughs> She's hitting the sled. Yeah. <laughs> but I am. I'm pulling this thing. Then we got to carry it down the steps, too. So you have the two. And then, like, a kid will stand up. The youngest one will try to stand while we're going on the steps. Yeah. Like, dude, you'll die, bro. Sit down. Yeah. I'm angry. Like, sit down. We all did an escape room. <laughs> sit, sit down. Dude, we did an escape room. I escape might, room with I might for all four of us. The, the young it was a mistake. Although the young the youngest Chloe did find a clue, which was kind of exhilarating. She almost stumbled upon a gear that we needed for our time machine. Dude, I might start <laughs> I might start frequenting escape rooms alone too. They're pretty fucking fun. I've I always thought they looked one. stupid. Dude, they're pretty fun. Yeah. Looking for the clues. There's four pictures. I had to put all the historical figures in in order for it to unlock a box. Dude, first try. Fucking shh. No problem. No problem. Yeah, I'd have you to thank for that. Obviously. I have you to thank for that. Why? Which figures was it? Do you remember? Uh, I think it was Isaac Newton, Einstein, some like, oh, Da Vinci. I didn't know who it was. It was Da Vinci, Isaac, uh, Isaac Newton, Einstein, and then there's one other person I forget. And it was just, no problem. Right in order. Got no props. I was like, here, swang him up, drawer open. And I was like, did you? Pathetically on the way out, I was like, did you see it? It was pretty cool when I arranged all those pictures. That's right totally away. fine, dude. <laughs> 
That's she's totally like, yeah, fine. that was a great job. And she solved every other thing. Women have no concept of history. <laughs> no, they don't. For real, if you're home, ask your girlfriend. Say, what year was World War One? See what they say. They're masters of the last like 1978. Fucking 30 <laughs> you go, what the fuck do you think? What year do we go to the moon? 1987. Yeah, um, yeah probably 1975. There's no true. Concept. They don't have any fucking no history whatsoever. No. What's that? Her story. True. Her story. They true. know about all the bad bitches of history, dude. Yeah. Joan of Arc. Like, what year was she? I don't know. Marie Antoinette. Marie Antoinette was not even off. a bad bitch, dude. She's got a fucking head. So off. sick of Marie Antoinette. <laughs> Marie Antoinette bothers me. She was not a bad bitch. She I, knew a lot about. I think she food. was a bitch. She a knew bad about. Bitch. Yeah, she was, they imported a bitch from France. Like, look at this fucking bitch. Yeah. Or they imported her from where? Like, Austria. Austria. Oh, man, what a bitch. Like, what yeah. a bad bitch, dude. She was like, You think 14. you guys are suffering? We're going to have this prince marry this fucking bitch yeah. from Austria. Oh, that's pretty. That sucks. Like, oh, she's a cool dress. The movie, on. the movie is for girls. It's a girl history movie, but I like it. What? Marie Antoinette. Marie Antoinette, yeah. It's a good gay movie I like. <laughs> it's an undeniably gay movie that I really like. <laughs> I love the, the French Revolution. Dude. Didn't they love her, though, at first? Were they like, yeah. look at her cool dress? Yeah, they thought she was the shit. And then everybody got a little hungry outside the walls. Yeah. And now that cool dress is kind of fucking insulting. True. I might be right. in my bad bitch Marie Antoinette phase. <laughs> Shane sucks now. Let them eat cake. <laughs> Someday I'll be beheaded on Reddit, dude. They'll appreciate the trip. They'll appreciate And then the they'll trip. look back and go, damn, that guy was an icon. No, that's your. That, I, was Marie that might be your purple emperor cloak, dude. Where you're just right walking in there going, oh my God. You think I'm in the fucking imperial Napoleon I phase? Th I think so. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Oh, we did it, dude. Pontius. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> I got a pee so fucking bad. Saying, I didn't realize he was even drunk. This Beezer can be pretty drunk well, and be really low kids. And be, he's like good at being drunk, so the only way you can tell if the Beezer's truly drunk, you got to get him in a lift. And he starts going like, oh, start, what's up, dude? He'll start talking <laughs> shit to the driver. Yeah, yeah, the like, driver. Oh, fuck, he's hammered. Yeah, you don't want to skis, dude. The skis, dude. Don't pull him off the links. Uh, we were talking about the skis, and I was just talking about how Beezer might be the king ski, dude. You think so? I was like, he's the most loyal ski. True. And, and also, I don't think I've ever seen him sad. True. I think the Beezer is just the Beezer 24-7. He's full broski. He's an absolute ski at all times. <laughs> I don't think I've seen him change an emotion once. <laughs> he probably does it like a proper broski is supposed to. He, he probably just administers cold pilsner immediately upon any sort of Any discomfort. emotions. Any emotion, just administer a cold pilsner. Hit, you know, like right back to base. Or just scream cries into his pillow. Like, <laughs> Yo, what the fuck? <laughs> dude. <laughs> I got a fucking doodle tooth. Dude, you are, your life is a fucking movie, My life is dude. such a movie, Your life is a fucking movie. I'll say this. I, I don't want to get too much into detail, but Beezer is an absolute super gremlin. Obviously, he he's smokes a super gremlin. so much. It scared me how much weed he smoked. Yeah, and then how did he chill? Silence. For the most part, quiet beast. Dude, he was just suspended in the quantum realm. Yeah. And then I started bringing up reincarnation. I'm like, Beezer, what do you think about that? And, nah. And just goes back inside. <laughs> he went on airplane mode. <laughs> <He> was, <laughs> Beezer's on airplane mode. Like, what do you think of that? What? Yeah, it's good. No, it's not. Whatever. On the outside, he's cool as a cucumber. True. In there, it must just be like, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> he's like, he's trying to B and E into the metaverse right through his dude, phone screen. Good lord. Beezer's outside slugging Hennessy with like two 30 year old black dudes. Yeah. They're like, yo, take this. And it's like, I don't think they understood who they gave the alcohol to. <laughs> the Beezer probably just absolutely dead. Yo, oh, fucking Henny, dude. Dude. Was just fucking His face turns like. <laughs> It's like totally pale. Like you won't you won't see him for like twenty, you know, like an hour. Then all of a sudden Beezer will walk back in with like headphones in and be like, yo. <laughs> just, just he looks gray. He's like, yo, it's all it's like, oh my god, dude. He might be the like the the, sa the patron saint of broski. He's, <laughs> He's dying. How Where the are you guys fuck from? Are you swimming in this shit. <laughs> we're like fifteen we're like, degrees. We're blacked out. <laughs> <laughs> we can't feel. Beezer might be scrambling our minds when we're around bodies of water because you don't remember swimming. I've only Beezer's ever, yeah. something, dude. He asked Ooh. me a hundred questions about the salt water. He's like, so like, 
What does it do? I'm like, nothing. It's just a little bit of get salt. Get in. <laughs> so he was, alien. <laughs> I think Beezer might be an alien. <laughs> he like, he might be what alien chemicals too. exactly are in this pool? <laughs> Dude, That's why no one knows how old he is. He's an alien. <laughs> he if you a... ask him one day, he's like 5,048 That's why he loves DMT. Like, Wait, how old are you? Dude, that's why he loves DMT. He smokes DMT. And like, he's like, yeah, he talks to his yeah. friends. Yeah, he's dude. like, the earthlings are treating me well. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, the earthlings are pretty cool. <laughs> that's good. Hell Tried yeah. to try out for the Flyers one time, and I was all yacked up. <laughs> what? <laughs> one night, I was like 22, 23. I was watching all these YouTube videos, just fucking yacked out of my mind. And it was like those videos of like, you know, kids just randomly <laughs> getting picked up by pro athletes. Like, this kid's good. So if I can, I put it in my head. If I go down to the fucking, oh. uh, to the parking lot, start firing off some wristers, oh. they're going to come and see me. First off, I was wearing an Ottawa Senators jersey, strike one. <laughs> and I had one hockey ball. And I fired it. And it went through the fucking fence that went, you know, leads out on the broad street. And then I just was like, fuck. So I just started firing rocks. So I walked up to the front door and be like, yo, I wonder if they're up there. (laughs) And I had a fucking, I had a, I think it was a high life pounder in my back, in my back jeans. Yeah. And a security car came walking around. So I like started going like real fast. And then they were like, what are you doing? I was like, hey, is the uh, Flyers Wives Carnival today or something? You know, just made up something. What I didn't know was the pounder. fucking pressure against my ass split open so then he just started like this guy's following me and i was like this is a trail of high life from the front door yeah. back to my car and i'm the only one in the fucking parking lot and then uh yeah i just got in my car when more fucking blow <laughs> best Legend. story i've ever heard in my life were you on rollerblades no i'm not gay dude You're- and i wasn't even slapping i was arrested i was like they need a good arrester what's up dude hello what's going on friend how are you pretty good man Doing all right. Pretty good. Actually, you might think that I wore these silly socks today, but no, I didn't. I forgot all that about wasn't on purpose. No. These are my, I have like tiers of my favorite socks. These are probably like level three. Out of how many tiers? Uh, about five or six. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I have like five different species these are average, of socks. These are medium socks for you. Yeah, they're hospital socks. They have grip. Ooh, that's so nice. It's nice. With those when, comfy shoes? Oh, dude, it's crazy. I'm wearing my cool Notre Dame. Dude. Basically, I'm on the team at this point. You're like the Heisman Trophy itself, dude. <laughs> dude, I'm not even touching. You're flexible, I'm not even touching, bro. Dude. I am flexible. I could suck my own dick, dude. <laughs> You're about to get roasted. Bro. Rogie's got in trouble you for saying. Well, he didn't roasted. get in trouble, but they, everybody thinks. It's Why funny, would they use that against you? It's funny to make fun of somebody for a joke they made. Yeah. To be like, yeah, I'm I'm fat, and then people be like, yo, he's fat. Oh, <laughs> like, dude, you can't make fun of Rogie's for the joke he made. Yeah, dude. He also, said something silly. He might be able to, too. I believe him. Yeah, I don't think he would lie. He said, I, th- I think he did it. He said he got it close. He said he got. He wanted to get it close, so he knew he could do it. It's I think like, he dude. tapped a closed mouth. I think he did just a drill where it was like, yeah, all right, I'm in. Yeah. In a bind, I have this in my back pocket. Yeah, dude. Plane's going down. Dude, that's kind of <laughs> what they tell you. That's still what they tell you to do. What? Try to... When you, when you look at the diagram... That you basically try to suck your own dick before yeah. you die. Everyone in the picture, their face is like right down in their lap. Oh, yeah, true. Yeah, that's what we're supposed to do. I don't listen to those anymore. They bother me. I go. I always those go Those announcements through. are so fucking annoying. Yeah, they're pretty brutal. Like in a case of a water accident, it's like, dude, if yeah. there's a plane crash in the water, we're just dead. We're fried. Bro. Knock it off. Yeah. Yeah, I, I like, I read the, uh, every time we fly, when I fly with Maya, I pull the thing out and I read the story of people crashing to Maya. <laughs> <laughs> Like, and then the plane went down and everyone was swimming in a raft. Yeah. They I'm do, like, and a baby a floated by itself. Like, a lot of them do cool videos. They, some have. Where they, like, yeah. have, like, a cool video showing you a plane accident. Do they really know? No, they don't show the plane crash, but they're like, in case of an emergency. And it's all, it's like a diversity group, like, uh, you know? It's like a commercial group of model, models that would be in commercials. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Are like, oh, in case of a horrific plane accident. You know? Yeah, some hot babe comedy. Yeah, they should show what it's like. They should show real footage. They should, or just like a movie. They should be like, "Yo, this could happen." Yeah, but get ready. Like, I hope it doesn't. But just so you know, just so you know, here's nine yeah. eleven footage. When you guys were bitching about taking off fifteen minutes late, yeah, here's what could happen. This is, this is something. We, yeah, yeah. That's why we check shit and kind of wait so we don't crash into a plane. Yeah, I don't like when they're willy nilly. Yeah, dude, you guys want you want to rush? I like them to take their time. Me too. If I'm sitting on the tarmac for like three hours, I'm like, good. good. Yep, exactly. Please check this thing the fuck out. Dude, the full, yeah, the full oil was, change. It's funny. I was on a plane yesterday, and while I was taking a piss, I was like, right on the other side of this is just death. 
Yeah. It's pretty funny. <laughs> Nothing. Yeah. Yeah, I, I like... Oh, I crapped uh, on a plane. What? You finally did? I crapped on a plane, dude. On what? the way out to San Diego, I took a dump. Dude, it's the best. I never f- sat down and flushed. That's a wild feeling. Wait, what? I was sitting down. I didn't want the, I didn't want the turd to lay on the steel, the open... <laughs> <laughs> the prison toilet True. that I was using. <laughs> and so I was flushing as turds were coming out. Oh, really? You were dropping them I, one dude, by one? I didn't. You were carpet bombing. Yeah, I had to. I had to. You can't leave a turd on the... on the, Sure you can, dude. Bro, that's crazy. You're a customer of their aircraft. I understand you that. There's other customers. You gotta be comfortable. It's not like when you fart on it. Dude. It's, the fart smells that come out on the oh flight are so God, funny. Dude. Dude. Just everyone just farting and like no one's going to know. Mm-hmm. And but a dump, a dump coming from the front. Everybody knows, especially I'm walking. Pilots out. catching that. Pilot, yeah. Pilots, Pilots are like, uh, what, the hell? what the hell is that? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I said, I dumped hard on the so on just, the aircraft. Psh, psh, psh. It, it was, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but so uh, flushing nonstop. People probably took a crap. Like, yeah, you took a crap. A crapula. <laughs> I dug through the ditches up there, and uh, actually, this is good. You're gonna like this. On the flight back, I sat yeah. next sat next to a severely autistic man. What? Yeah, he was wild. He's the Arabic, yeah, autistic man. That was like, as he was coming down the aisle, he was like, I, I heard him yell. He's like, somebody's in my seat. I was like, holy yeah. shit, who is this? I, it was so loud I could hear it over my music, and he was at the front of the plane. <laughs> took it out to watch him. I was the guy in the seat. And he was like, um, excuse me, you're in seat B. I am in seat B. And I was like, I think it's, uh, and the guy in front of me was like, no, that's B. And I was like, all right. I was like, do you want to just sit there? And he's like, I can't, my luggage. I was like, all right, I'll move. <laughs> I'll move. It's not a big deal. And uh, I sat there the whole flight, dude, this guy was screaming. What? He got a sandwich. He was like, it's frozen. <laughs> and the and the store just was like, it can't be frozen. I know it's not frozen. He's oh like, my, my sandwich is frozen. And she was like, everybody else ate their sandwich and it wasn't a big deal. He's like, maybe they ate frozen sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> it was crazy. So he's an absolute hero. He was a hero, but he was having fun. He was oh excited. My Dude, God. he spent 45 minutes easily just up in the front with the stewardesses talking about planes and shit. Jesus Christ. And then he came back and sat next to me and turned on his fucking light. And it was it was first class, dude. You know me. You know me Obviously. and the autistic Obviously. dudes fly first. Yeah. He had a spotlight on his fucking laptop for no reason. I was fuming. Fuck, dude. And then he was screaming, dude. Screaming the whole flight. Dude, I saw the ultimate fat battle on a flight not too long ago. Whoa. It was a... Like, this lady was questionably should have paid an extra ticket in front of this other guy who was also a, a large dude. Yes. <laughs> you witnessed the battle I had that one time. Dude, this was yes. no, this was another level. I'm pretty sure the dude was banded up to... I think he had braces on. So the guy, he had, like, arm braces, and he's sitting in the back. Wait, what? At this, there was a, a fucking, like, seriously what hefty you mean, lady. arm braces? Like, wrist. He had, like, the rollerblade pads. Oh. So he's, at least one. He had at least one wrist. <laughs> he had his bowling, yeah. <laughs> yeah, bowling gear. Yeah. So he said, like, you know, travel. In case you're flying, you need to keep the wrist on good. <laughs> so he's sitting there. He's geared up. A lady goes to try to put her seat back, and he just goes. Yo. That might have been what the braces were for. Hits her with the fucking power fists. And dude, dude. This, this lady's rocking him, trying yes. to get back. Dude, he he was like the whole entire flight. It was a two and a half hour flight. He had one hand. He'd put his knee up. He would constantly switch. And he'd read a book with his other hand. And she would every now and again go like this. And he would just go. And his <laughs> oh, my God. Double fist. Or, dude, it was the best shit I've ever seen. I've, I, I have engaged in this battle. Not that hard, though. <laughs> dude, I'll he fucking was, put a knee as hard as I can into the seat. He held it, dude. Occasionally. She just never to give got him a back. Fucking... She never reclined. He held the wall. That's the incredible. Whole, the whole flight, dude. And he would just go reading a book. Switch hands, and then he would kind of loosen up, and it would start to come back, and he would just go, bam, <laughs> oh, dude, held it the whole time. This That's exciting a big to watch. dog, too. That's dude. fun to watch. It, well, dude, he was right next to us. A big dog, a big female dog like that, she would not like that. Oh, dude, she was furious. They hate, they hate any inconvenience. Big she, fat She one. probably couldn't breathe. She probably, she probably couldn't breathe. She probably if had she was hunched, to breathe. Yeah, yeah, hunch forward. Yeah, dude. That's right on your diaphragm. <sighs> <laughs> and then a bro holding the line dude no chance it was so fucking perfect funny. pass protect by the way oh it was insane that's no lineman it was insane dude she never she never broke she, she never broke 90 degrees <laughs> he wouldn't give her an inch that's what like, it's he about give, they did come back line of scrimmage <laughs> dude. she was a nose guard you saw a nose tackle versus a fucking classic tackle dude. And oh. he would hit so fucking hard. Can we pause real quick? I forgot I ordered food. I'm so sorry. You ordered more food. Yeah, no, yeah, I ordered food for the homestead. 
but your body makes me crazy. Ugh. Yeah, All right. we're on. Sick. Hilarious. What are we talking about? Dude, the guy holding we're the line. We're talking about the flight, yeah. Guy sorry, yeah. sorry about that, by the way. Oklahoma drilled with a fat lady on a plane. That's fucking sick. Wouldn't stop. One-on-one. -on -one he, was, he was even like holding his own next to the person next to him. He was like keeping airspace to the right, making sure he didn't get invaded yes. to the armrest. He was fighting on two fronts. Yeah, he's like he was on the Nazis. northern. <laughs> <laughs> he was on the northern and the eastern front. Yes, fighting two battles simultaneously. It's crazy. While reading a book, he was fighting leg space to this way, and then being like, "It was unbelievable." I mean, I respect it. I get on there, and I, I that's all I think about. Some dude, some guys pay for first class. Some guys earn it. True, guys, true. Guys true. First, class. first class isn't given, dude. It's earned. It's earned, and dude. that guy earned it. He turned coaching to comfort plus, dude. <laughs> yeah, really he's, he's like i want just cover plus 100 bucks i got that Still, i'll like, save 100 bucks hours only you can control them it was you're the strongest person ever that was literally it you have whoa there's so much power i saw it. a funny tweet today it was about there's a show called she hulk okay <laughs> it's a bit, i guess there's a female hulk uh, what does somebody it, what does somebody do to trigger her? Leave like a dish on the counter? <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, I mean <clears throat> That's it, dude. Guys are the best. That's that's as good as it gets. It's funny that you bring that up, Matt, because the problem with the male Hulk was that he had to deal with two different people inside of him. Yeah. So like the Hulk had like the Hulk inside of him. Yeah. And he would have to fight with the other guy. Uh huh. But women go through like such fear and anger all the time with the way society's built. That when she turns into the Hulk, she's just totally normal and she's totally used to it. So she can handle being the Hulk and she can handle being a woman and a powerful. And that's the movie. And a powerful attorney at the same time. So she, because I noticed in the preview, she is Hulked out like constantly. Yeah, she doesn't have to fight the other guy. There's no other guy. Because women, yeah. women deal with this on a regular basis. Or is basis. that because we just turn a blind eye to women spazzing like freaks in public? Yeah. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she Hulks, uh, in the, in the, somebody tweeted it today. It was a picture of her shelf. In She Hulk's apartment, it's a Ruth Bader Ginsburg statue, oh, what dude. Michelle Obama statue, dude. Like I'm not, I am a fucking strong woman, <laughs> fucking cursive bullshit she got from Michael. You know, if they, if it was true, they wouldn't have to fucking do it. You know what I mean? Yeah, dude, no, I mean it's like it the kids who ran cross country with the T-shirt that was like, "I have a real sport. There's no timeouts. Yeah, right. It's not football. Football sucks. It's like, yeah. bro, it's like, right. come on." Nothing better. Come that. on, dude. It's the gridiron. Yeah, true. Speak, all right, before, because you, the boys are falling asleep. Uh, Aussie rules football. Oh, fuck. I forgot about that. Is the sickest fucking sport. <laughs> dude. Shout out to fucking Bailey Smith, dude. I would blow oh. this, dude. <laughs> dude, the doggies? You talking to the doggies? I'm talking bulldogs, dude. The West Sydney doggies? Dude, we growl, we roar, we snarl, dude. Dude, we went to, the, we went to see, it's called, yeah, footy. And for some reason, the teams have like 1940s World War II theme songs. They come out it's like, "We are the Bulldogs, Literally, it's the like brave boys." Auto generated. If an Asian dude wrote the lyrics to a fight song, <laughs> it's like, "We are the Giants from New South Wales." Is this the thing where they do the hakas or no? No, it's it's like rugby meets it's a gym sport. It's every sport, dude. dude it's, it's a fucking made up. That's dangerous. like Gaelic football. Gaelic football is it's, like I think it's a mix, that's, yeah. that's how they describe it. Do they just it. kick like, it through an upright for Gaelic football? Gaelic football looks like soccer mixed with basketball. It's fucking. That's insane. how they describe it. Yeah. They're like it's it's Gaelic football mixed with rugby mixed with soccer. Okay. It's like ultimate frisbee rules. We have to punt the ball to the other guy. You can run it, but you can punt it, and if they catch it, everyone has to leave him alone. Then he can either run or punt, and they do that. Back and forth, and finally they'll try to get a position where they kick it through the uprights. It's dude, it's the what? off the sickest ball. fucking game. They're, they just oh, punch shit. each other. Oh, like and, the fists, dude. And they don't react. So like, say I'm guarding Matt, I'd be like holding his arm. He would fucking punch me in the chest. <laughs> dude, it's so funny. I wouldn't spaz. I would just sneak just up behind hits. him, fucking drill him in the back as hard as it's I could. So funny. he wouldn't react. He would keep walking. So they're backwards. like kids. It's the Argy dude, Bargy. It's Nuts. They're like giant kids. It's the Archie Pargy. They call it Archie Pargy, yeah. Dude, you're allowed to punch if you're holding the shirt. Oh, fuck so they, Jesus. Hockey rules fist fights off the ball for no reason. So this is the best like sport. It, it, it was dude, it for was real the, the yeah. sickest fucking sport. This is the sport. best sport. I was on yeah. the edge of my seat the entire time. So you guys found the, most, the best sport. It's just dudes in between plays. There's a guy going like behind a guy going like that to his <laughs> back. Then the guy going like it's so fun. <laughs> and then no, funny. One, no one cares. No, yeah, the guys the who did it don't care. No, dude, it, it's and then forty-four the, from the Bulldogs was a problem. Fuck, bro. And then I think there's twenty-five on a Giants who was a bit of a he motherfucker. Was a motherfucker. Well. 
the whole time. He'd go around and fuck. Dude, there was a tiny fucking Okan man. Yeah. Okan man played fuck. for the there's, Bulldogs. There's wee boys in these kind of sports. Like Gaelic, if you watch this stuff, it's Full like Bulldogs. It's wee boys, dude. The, this guy, yeah, there was one guy who was like the weeest amongst them all. And it was, dude, it was a fucking. What's his name? The UFC dude. Uh, yeah, he he played. Yeah, he's a little bulldog. Dude, it was these guys. Are, it was the coolest fucking sport, most entertaining thing I've ever seen in my life. You would play. You'd be good at, it, dude. They look like hunks, like you. Think so, but they're a little yeah. more slender, though. A lot of hunks. If you trim down, two ten. If you kept mm. being depressed, we have a scale right there. <laughs> <laughs> now they're like what? on the body. They're like soccer what? players. On the podcast. Dude, are you for real You're depressed not depressed anymore? anymore. Not anymore, obviously. You're telling Shane, but you don't tell me? Uh, well, I already told you about this. No, what do you mean? I didn't know anything about this. Remember like fucking three weeks ago he when I was losing his, my mind? That was, uh, was from the mushrooms. I know. I was like, am I fucking depressed or something? I don't know. He was swimming down the Caribbean. <laughs> 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 he, Shane really took the wind out of your sails. Shane? No, yeah, he's, he's sleepy, dude. He's nah, not. he's all glazed over. I, I deal with sleep. this all the time. This is sleep mode. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> he's he's I like, he's Matt, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We're not. You know, we're not. Well, you guys bring, killed it, man. We're not bringing a lot we're, here, but this, I mean, we're the downhill no, slide, man. So late. Who, Fucking Bill Pantra. get. It's Bill 10 hit. p.m. Oh my god. 10 p.m. Who me? Bill hits seesaw motor functions pretty quick. Yeah. Bill will fall asleep just. Yeah. Yeah. You ever get tired, bro? Uh, trust me, this is the first week I've been like fully the, tired. The thing that's been fucking me up lately is my boys, they're texting each other. A few of them are single now, and they talk about how good chicks are at sex, and it's like phasing me. Yeah, like, what do they say? What are they, yeah, what do they say? Is she good at fucking stuff? Oh. It's like, dude, like, how, like, are you that good that you're sitting there and be like, dude, this chick tried to fuck me and she couldn't? How old are, you, how old are these boys? 28, 29. 28. Yeah. <laughs> They're going, they're sliding right it's, into a nice quarter life nuts. crisis. <laughs> yeah. It's, she it seems fucks like, uh, so she's well. She fucking yeah. sucks my dick so good. Oh, man. I was going to marry that girl. I'm so happy I didn't. Uh, yeah. The girl yeah, having yeah, sex with That's girls. That's exactly what it is. It's like, I mean, oh, good the girl sex. I love. You've never, had, you've never <laughs> fucked a whore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know how I was in love for a while and then we broke up? I love fucking whores now. Hot. It's totally fulfilling. Hot sex. I'm totally <laughs> going to get that promotion at my job and have hot sex as with soon as single I, females. As soon as I come, I'm happy with my choices. <laughs> That's who I am. That's why I need validation in the group text. Yeah. Damn, yeah. they're hammering your boys. I mean, they, I say this. No, to like, the only reason I'm saying is been there, done that. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> more it's times fucking... than you could count. <laughs> I might be more one of those crazy career guys that has wild sex. You must be goes. a fucking problem in those group texts with uh, fucking normal dudes and then this freak. Bill's a maniac, dude. With COVID, bro? I was getting fucking hammered over and over again. You start yeah. shit, though. I do. You nag your boys. Yeah. Well, I just like <laughs> some stuff will come out like, yo, are we still getting this booster shot or what's going on, guys? <laughs> Joe Biden's literally got vaccinated four times. He's still getting COVID. What's Joe Biden, you see Joe Biden, dude. I watched dude, Joe Biden give a speech this week. He's I watched home, him bro. sign that fucking uh, yeah the bill. The, the bill. Yeah. I watched the speech live. I was sitting there watching, dude. It was, <sighs> it was nuts. He's gone. He's, He's gone. I watched up. him sign the bill and then hold a pen. <laughs> <laughs> he literally oh. signed it and goes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yeah, he's Matt, fully. Did you, did you see him try to shake the hand again? Yes, that yeah, was that fucking was nuts. I mean, that's fully like you got to. That's like, all Bro, right, dude. He gets done here. signing it, puts a mask on. He needs a Westworld update. It was. <laughs> yeah, he needs an update. He does. <laughs> His loops are all fucked up. He needs, he's dude, Bernard. He put a mask on it. In a room full, he was surrounded by people not wearing a mask. The whole, the the people they put in the crowd are his cabinet. So no matter what he says, they laugh and clap. It's not like the media when Trump, if Trump gave a speech, people would be like, hey, fuck you, fuck you, yeah, you fucking piece yeah. of shit. Like, fuck <laughs> you. Oh, excuse me, sir. Fuck, fuck you. Fuck, fuck you. This is, <laughs> everyone's like, ha, ha, Joe, you're crazy. This is so funny. What are they trying to, didn't they try to rebrand him? Wasn't that you telling me that? They're trying to call dark him. Dark Brandon. Dark Brandon, yeah. Yeah, Dark Brandon rises. Dark Brandon. What? What? Yeah, trying to they, call the, the dark left Brandon is now, trying yeah. to make funny memes, including his own cabinet. They're tweeting it out. Where he's the dark brand. I mean, let's go, Brandon's all the time. You can never touch. They're it. trying to. Can't I'm it. so confused. What They're the fuck is dark brand? Joe well, Biden is the dark brand. He's the dark brand. Didn't he do something recently? Guys, I'm like, I still don't get it. So, Sorry, I just opened my Instagram and it's fucking Bailey Smith. Who's that? 
That's no, the Aussie guy. The hottest oh. fucking dude of all time. Oh, yeah. They're the long, trying to long, take yeah. back the Let's Go Brandon Yeah, but he, he just did it. <laughs> well, why thing. are they saying Dark Brandon? It's the Dark Brandon. It's the Dark Brandon. He's rising. He's against you, dude. He's about to bring you down. What was the thing that uh, he did that everyone's like, that's a huge win? Uh, it was probably Shit Trump himself. getting fucking raided. Trump got raided. And they're like, Dark Brandon's behind The Dark Brandon dark rises. Brandon Meanwhile, rises. they're like, Joe Biden had nothing to do with that. <laughs> 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 and then they're still they're on... Twitter, like, we did it. We crushed him. Dark Brandon. Don't get me started on the hypocrisy of the left, dude. dude. <laughs> what about the right? Jack dude? booted a Gesta- Gestapo. <laughs> oh, yeah. what? what about the hypocrisy of the right? I fucking hate him, too, dude. I'm di- I'm not affiliated. Bill's I'm gone, dude. He's out in the, he's he's out in the ocean, time. dude. I'm, no, I'm unaffiliated. How quickly are you going to go to bed? Uh, <laughs> I'll brush my teeth, look in the mirror, and just be like, we did it again today, buddy. And then just go through. I'm gonna go home. I I have pork chops waiting for me that were coated. Ooh, pork chop I so much. They were Shout coated. out GI Joe. That's one of those. <laughs> they were coated in mayonnaise. <laughs> really? They I apparently they sla- got slathered pork t- or is it pork tenderloin slathered in mayonnaise? Canola oil. That's can't stand be behind that. Be awesome. You gotta get primal good. kitchen mayo, bro. Woo. Yeah, I got some bullshit from Rite Aid because I was running out of time. Canola oil, no good. I know, I know, I know, I know. I had a lot of protein today. Me too. You know the the air packed uh, ground beefs in the squares. Uh huh. I cooked the whole thing this morning. I put rice in the uh, pressure cooker. Uh-huh. I chopped them both in half. I put two eggs with ground beef and rice first hey, thing in the morning, big. and then I fucking ate ground beef and rice for lunch. And then boy. I went home and ate fucking yams or sweet potatoes uh-huh. and fucking chicken pies. <laughs> <laughs> no veggies. I, I mean, sweet potatoes and vegetables. Eh. I guess so, yeah. I'm Bill not, doesn't like green food. I'm not trying to ingest all that shit with a roundup on it, bro. True. Glass of face. Did you ever serve at Camp Lejeune? <laughs> <laughs> uh, wait, sweet potatoes aren't vegetables? Yeah, they, so are. they are. All right. Yams? They actually spike your teeth, too. It's just they taste good, so it's They're good. delicious. All right. Yams are yummy. I, I like, cut, the, ja- I I like the Japanese sweet potatoes. You yeah. need to eat shitty vegetables for it to count. Yeah. You know what I actually like? Peas. Well, do you really? Yeah. Uh, He's a little salt and How do you eat them? How do you eat them? <laughs> With mashed potatoes. <laughs> so you put, you mix it. You don't just munch peas. I can munch peas. How do you sp- spoon? I can fork? spoon some peas, but I actually am a fork guy. You I like, like the texture. Them. I like the texture. I like to harpoon them. Do you yeah, put one exactly on each right. little spike of the fork and eat them? I would like eat to fork? do that if I have time, <laughs> but I do eat quick, so I so usually I. lose more patience shovel, after yeah. like. There was, there was an. I, I think am much more of a shoveler. We might have, <laughs> we might have opened up a portal to hell one night where. She- 